NASA has made an exciting discovery that could change everything we thought about the presence of water on the moon. KPI X5's Kit Doe explains. NASA has been on a roll this past month. If you remember last week, they actually landed on an asteroid. Well, today they confirmed the presence of water in the unlikeliest of places. Yes, ice has been found in dark moon craters, but what about water in the bright parts of the lunar surface, where temperatures can reach 260 degrees Fahrenheit? Wouldn't the water just boil off and vaporize? Enter SOFIA, short for Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy. Basically a 747 operated by NASA Ames with a high power telescope that looks out the rear hatch. The jet flies at 45,000 feet where the air is crystal clear. Normally, SOFIA looks deep into space for distant nebulas, galaxies, and black holes, but NASA Ames got the idea to point the telescope at the moon, specifically right here at the so-called Clavius Crater. Their findings were published today in the journal Nature Astronomy, titled Molecular Water Detected on Sunlit Moon by SOFIA. Nassim Rangwala at NASA Ames described the moment the team knew they were onto something. So when they started uh, you know, during their analysis, they started seeing the strong signal at this location near the Clavius crater. They were uh, very excited. And when we heard it, we were literally over the moon. We didn't expect that this water molecule could survive the harsh conditions on the lunar surface. We would think that it would escape in this airless environment. The researchers theorized that tiny micrometeorites smashing into the moon's surface created tiny beads of glass that could have trapped the water molecules inside. Or maybe hydrogen atoms from solar storms collided with hydroxyl on the moon and form water that way. Whatever the case, add this latest discovery to the growing list of places to find water on the moon that could support a moon base to one day help put a human on Mars. Do you feel like you're a part of history? Uh, I, I hope so. At least we will make uh, some contribution to history. Very exciting for us and to continue to inspire uh, the next generation of scientists to push the limits, to always be creative and think outside the box. In Mountain View, Kit Doe, KPIX 5. And you thought coconut water was expensive. NASA's Artemis program currently set to return Americans to the moon by 2024. And this discovery could be a crucial resource for that mission.